Hello and welcome back to a new series. My name is Saiken and today we're going to take a look at Gears Tactics. Upon popular request, I'm going to investigate this game and do a complete blind playthrough. For full disclosure, we're going to play on the hardest difficulty, which is insane difficulty. I have not read any guides or info other than the difficulty info and I was being advised via the internet to not turn on Iron Man because apparently as soon as one of your characters is getting down the entire run is over and since I don't know any of the enemies um, yeah, beyond the first mission I think it's fair to say that we shouldn't go with Iron Man so what to expect I will uh, go through this game and uh, as a rather advanced user of XCOM 2 you can uh, expect that I'll take a look and unravel the technical layer of the game, give you my impressions on what works and what doesn't work. And since I haven't played it through yet, uh, with the exception of the first mission, please also be aware that maybe tactical choices might not be optimal. Um, they are very much the first playthrough. However, I will take a look and try a few things out and maybe you can take this run here A as an exploration of the game and B as an idea of how you could approach a new strategy game and eventually find out what works and what is specifically good. So I'll try to talk you through my thought process. We're going to play on insane difficulty for expert players who want an unforgiving experience. That's exactly uh, describing what we want to get out of it. And I'll shut up because there are great uh, cutscenes. So let's dive right into it and start the first mission. After years of endless war, humanity had finally found peace. Until Emergence Day. When a monstrous new enemy, black-hearted and savage, emerged from below and laid siege to our world. Our losses have been great. Our resolve is far greater. My fellow Tyrants, today, the Coalition of Ordered Government strikes back. These unclean beasts, these locusts, will advance no further. I, Chairman Prescott, have authorized a full planetary strike from our Hammer of Dawn weapons arsenal. On my orders, the COG has placed infantry detachments in key cities to mop up any survivors. This is the only way. Chin up, Private. If you can survive Prescott's bullshit, you can survive anything. He's torching the whole world to kill the grubs, Sarge. Am I ever gonna see him again? I don't know. Shelter. Come on, join the party. You're gonna want to get that. Diaz. Special order, Sergeant. Proceed immediately to General Beckett's office at CIC to retrieve a classified document. Acknowledge. No, you've got the wrong gear. I just run the motor pool. You have your orders. Control out. And let me guess, you're coming too. Well, if you insist.
like we're on foot from here. CIC's up ahead. Love it how they give you a first impression of what the enemy does. Troops inbound. Drones, I see him. Good. So the game cover, already Dad. tells you kind of Forget the of core mechanics the for those of you Something who like are familiar with XCOM. The cover mechanic is definitely been ripped off from XCOM so this is a I've nice a little half cover screen. right here Engaging now. the action points are three for each of the soldiers can be seen here that is the help uh, the action points just like in XCOM here you do have three action points in XCOM you do have two but essentially uh, every uh, single action point is typically kind of one activity that you can uh, do the movement you got when you're shot. Take it. Can't show that now, but uh, when you're moving, there are little blips on the ground indicating how far you can move. Now, there's a 100% chance to uh, hit him, and we should go right ahead to do so. Target down. We have nicely One flanked him. Range. Good. Use one to target uh, the enemy or mouse over them. Enemies in cover are harder to hit, as you can imagine, so hit chance here is only 12. Um, naturally, what you would want to do is not shoot it, but since we're still in the kind of uh, introductory mode, the game tells you that you, that you need to uh, flank them. Anyway, so here you can see those dots that I was talking about, right? And in order to fully flank, you got to get um, right there. Easy pickings now. Good. And here we see base hit 100%, solid crit chance, right? Uh, 250 damage. And there's a 65% crit chance. I don't want to spoil it, but he's critically hitting him. This here is all scripted so far. Right. And now the enemy kind of moves up. You're getting those partial hits in. And this here is the explanation of eventually how the, the, gonna wait for us. How the action so points the work so what we're going Won't to do is sweat. we're going to move up and we're going to induce a little bit of gore here You're there we go you got him. Diaz here has an ability that whenever he kills someone uh, everybody else gets a tiny bit of healing, uh, which is an interesting concept. Uh, whilst at the same time, we're continuing to flank the remainder. All right, let's move. You got a name, soldier? Redburn. Sid Redburn. Sid Redburn. Sid Redburn. You clearly know where you're going. So why am I here? I guess someone up there likes you, Sergeant. Everyone, look sharp. Good. We gotta be a bit careful now. Uh, still, the tutorial uh, yep. that we're uh, that we're going through. What I'm waiting for is number one. The skills are recharging. Some of them, uh, like the chainsaw, do have a three-round cooldown. And number two, I already know that there is going to be. Quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of an ambush from these guys. I think those are the melee units, hammer claws. No, wretches. Yeah, wretches is what they were called, melee hunters. And they do have the blade storm uh, equivalent ability. So if you get too close to them, they immediately retaliate. And just out of pure uh, out of experience, Take them out before they swarm you don't want that to happen.
good. We want Sid in high cover. I wouldn't put him there, but in my anyways, the I'll game demands it. Now, we're learning about Overwatch. The way that Overwatch works in this game is a bit different uh, compared to how XCOM does it, and good. I quite I'll frankly like side. that Overwatch a lot. So, you basically build that Target little acquired. funnel, and the angle. amount of ability points that you have left over are also the maximum amount of Getting shots that you now. can take. And whenever someone is being hit by Overwatch, as you can see, they're actually getting interrupted. Alright, enemy starts to overwatch and now we do have a small problem. The way that we're uh, doing that is the offhand here, disabling shot, allows for essentially the removal of overwatch but it has a quite substantial cooldown so you can see it's eight point uh, eight uh, turns of cooldown sit moves up and this here will be a nice little flanking shot all right in the meantime we're finishing this guy and we're learning about Rest a new down. mechanic Time which is the mechanic of finishing if uh, they are in this down state what you can do is you can try to finish them i think standing on this side here on this side here will be more efficient so the idea of finishing is you see that gory bloody scene right that drone's been pretty for you. and everybody gets that extra uh, mm, that extra ability point out of it because they feel highly encouraged by so much blood and gore <clears throat> the one thing that i learned though is those kind of finishers More contact. One hell of tend to be problematic because you're Love not getting uh, rate, those uh, things as a kill and the number of kills as far as i know determines yep. uh, your experience points so what we want to do is we want to make sure that both of them setting up a kill zone kill enough of Shit, the enemies dry. Gotta reload. we're reloading here and those are pure melee hunters so might as well set up that kill zone and if we can help it we're not going to uh, to use that gore slaughter we're actually going to uh, kill them the normal way yeah okay sixty one percent hit chance how about good moving up here neutralized and how about there's a bit of a reload Good to go. there we go Scratch one. okay getting low okay as a backup plan we're going to overwatch like I said, Overwatch isn't bad here. You don't incur a penalty. Oftentimes, you're even better in hitting the enemies. Good. Reloading. Let's move up with uh, Diaz here. Ready for more. On it. Got enemy activity. To play okay, fantastic. We're Ready. moving up a bit closer. Let's try to take a nice flanking position over here. Going now. Keep it watch. And oh, let's have a crossfire. Here they come. 
hard. Good. Advancing. And at the same time, we're advancing over here. I think that's almost it. I, it has been a while since I played that tutorial, to be entirely honest. So I'm not 100% right, sure if, we, if there are more enemies. Oh, there we go. Only a 24% chance to hit them. Hmm. Reloading. We're reloading. On standby. And since they only can move towards us, we're just going to double overwatch. Let's see what they got. Wrong move, bro. There we go. Auto reload. Into the CIC. Both of them are down. Hit the road. We're covered over here. No enemy detected does mean that they couldn't spawn, but okay. this here is definitely the place where we need to go. Got Reavers doing a flyby. Inside, go. Now, what are we looking for? The most classified looking file they got. Time to read that later. We're in for a fun ride, you and me. No. I told Prescott, I don't do that shit anymore. Time to go. Couldn't hide out in the motor pool forever, Diaz. in fast get back to the APC hit Reaver dropped off reinforcements here they come wretched <laughs> All right, got to give it to the game. It really delivers on that urgency uh, message. Now, we're going to learn how frag grenades work, and they are fun. One ability point, you have unlimited numbers of them, but it takes a quite hefty cooldown. Equally, let's interrupt this guy here. Very good. Ready. Into full cover. Only a 20% hit chance. I don't like the odds here. We gotta get into some solid cover. No, that's not enough. Moving. Yep. We gotta go over here. Diaz, on the other hand, doesn't have grenades, but he has stim grenades, so these things will heal over time. I'm wondering... Chances for hitting him with a pistol are better. It's 150 damage as opposed to, like, what? 230, but... Well, no. Chances seem to be relatively sim... No, chance here is higher. Yeah, and the biggest problem is the obstruction. This guy here poses a pretty significant obstruction. Okay, so instead of uh, doing any any anything funny, let's just cover 
this round. Okay, that worked out beautifully. Safety's off. Seventy-one percent shot, unfortunately missed. This one was a good hit, and there we go. Okay, see, this here tells us uh, he would eventually be interrupted, right? Which we do definitely do not want. So instead, since that guy is almost dead. Let's just use our pistol and return the favor. Okay, we healed ourselves. Uh, let's reload. It's a bit of a waste to use the grenade now. But every little bit uh, counts, I suppose. And soon the cooldown will will be um, gone okay. the road. so we could finish him but like I said I think that's not a smart idea instead let's actually kill him Target down. Here comes the shit show. good in. Diaz takes a flank the one thing that I learned in this game is in the tutorial mission so far you want to have an ability to kind of uh, flank and move into into a flanking position what now there a way around break the goddamn scenic route Say one thing for Prescott. The man's thorough. Come on. Let's find a way back. All right. You got to give it to those um, cinematic scenes. They are just fantastic. A lot of the budget must have went into just animating it properly. To a goddamn crisp. Better hope our APC isn't torched too. Or it's going to be a long walk to the bunker. Not sure why the frag grenade still has three rounds of cooldown. I would be guessing they've spent like right. hours up. in that safe. Reporting. Taking track. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the frag grenade is off of cooldown apparently. Very good. Well. The developer has actually thought that through. Got locust activity. Let's mess them up. Oh yeah, I remember that hole. Get up there. Grubs will be tunneling out soon. They're already back at it, huh? So much for Prescott's hammer strikes. Advancing. All right, we're charging in. 
The problem with these tunnels is they keep on spawning and you need to destroy them. Gosh, they are ugly. We got locusts coming up from underground. Good, so these guys. If we don't close it, they'll just keep pouring out. You think this is the first e <laughs> So these guys out? effectively have nailed us What's quite next? nicely. That's why you have, uh, always want to uh, mm, to distribute in in a way that they can't hit all of you. Well. Yeah, yeah. That would trigger two shots at the same time. I don't like the odds here. And we certainly don't want them to spawn more. So even interrupting the overwatch since we are in, own, in an overwatch zone will unfortunately trigger their overwatch so what we're going to do here is let's do that we will we will be hit but our full cover reduce the impact at least support on hand Yeah, I like, I like that here. Advancing. Moving up, going into a nice flanking position. Lancer. And that eventually downed one immediately. Good. How far can he throw that thing? Okay, far enough. That's fine. Going now. Moving into cover. And let's Break deal with the respawns. Dead end, assholes. Here comes the okay, we're going show. to get some pain here. Wow, that was even a critical hit. No way they can heal one another. No way they can heal one another. Safety's off. Okay, is this here going to trigger? I think it is. I think it is. Yeah, you can see that little, uh, that little warning sign right there. We've interrupted him. Uh, the problem is we gotta be really aggressive here. We stand here, this guy can move in. We stand here, he can move in as well. Oh, we gotta we gotta play that aggressive so one move over here and let's shoot him in the back nice a critical hit yeah, yeah. if we just take a shot uh, he won't die that is unfortunate how about this Pretty solid chance, and we're going to take a hit 
It is what it is. Target down. Good. So this is an aggressive move, but we can kill one of them. There we go. Hostile down. Okay, we're potentially going to get hit again. Luckily only for a partial hit. And reinforcements are already arriving. Oh boy, the game is going to be right, so much harder in the future. Alright, moving up. We do not have the interrupt shot. No, we don't. But we do have a couple of normal shots. Ready. Yeah, let's stand here. I do have an idea. Let's stand here. <laughs> wow. The amount of gore. Well, that execution gave us one um, extra point. Now, here's the healing. That is definitely needed. Almost full again. We're going to use that extra AP to reload. And since we already know that there are additional enemies coming up, let's overwatch. And Diaz here. I would like to go over there, but Changing not enough position. movement. All right, they're up. Okay, so far so good. We recovered uh, from that situation. Let's mess them up. Okay, 50-50 yep. to kill them. 80% actually would like to fire on this guy he's standing nicely in the open but they are quite close and I don't want yep. to be hit what's the chance of hitting him 30% well that is a really bad chance. Instead, what I would want is cover all three watch. here. Is it worse that there's a good chance that we can kill him, but maybe these guys will reach us. I don't know their movement range yet. I think they don't have enough to reach us and kill us. Gun drive! Been doing this a long time. And stay down. Get the hands deep. Ooh, wow. Oh, interesting. And the moment that they hit you, you lose cover on top of it. Well, that's indeed interesting. Okay, so we got to reload. All loaded up. And we got to deal with those melee enemies first. Textbook work. Sixty two percent chance to hit. Yeah, we're going to take the pistol, which seems to be the more accurate weapon. This guy is still in cover. All right, we're going to take some hits. Wow, the open can also go, uh, get out of ammunition. We 
but we will wait. So, is that going? Uh, it's only an eighty percent chance to kill it. I want to be far enough away Here so we that go. we're not risking that yes, uh, that yes here dies. Show you how. Oh wow. There we go. Okay, cool. Coming. Kill confirmed. I'm ready for this. <clears throat> okay. Moving up. We need to go get down there. All right. Three more turns until we can heal. It's a bit of a shame. Setting up a kill zone. Gosh, I have played I haven't played that mission in a while. If you know where the spawns are coming from, I think it becomes much more easy. And we learned that this distance here is enough uh, to let them acknowledge move on. Moving! No clue if we're, we're going to see additional here. enemies. Gotta be a bit careful here. Let's see what they got. Let's get the show rolling. What's next? Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Very good. So this one, uh, this here is as far as I've played. Uh, let's take a look. We got a common double barrel, passive skill hair trigger. I like that. Sounds great. So it seems that you can customize your weapons, which I would have expected. And this looks a bit like kind of random loot that you're getting. So that in itself is similar to XCOM, but yet different. You don't apparently need to pick it up. Look around, Diaz. War's not over. We need to talk about Prescott's mission. This grub, name's Ukon. Save it. I fix things now. And that's it. Shit. The bunker. No blast marks. This wasn't the hammer. No, it wasn't. This was Ukon. I am in love with the tone that that game sets. Kind of the harsh reality of war. So this is the grease pit you traded your command for. Comms work in this dump at least? Let's hope not. Lieutenant Colonel Diaz, it's been too long. It's Sergeant now, Chairman. Hope this was worth dodging your hammer strikes for. Yes, well, I'm glad to see your time in the motor pool has indulged your talents. Open it. You're looking at the only known photos of a locust called Ukon, the enemy's resident geneticist. 
a monster who makes monsters. Corpses, Brumats, his work. We need him eliminated. I don't run ops anymore. Not after Gekka Ridge. Sulking won't undo the past, Diaz. You want to save lives today? Stop squandering your tactical gifts and take Ukon down before he creates something even worse. I can't offer you much. No personnel, no resupply. Hold up. If this grub's as dangerous as you say, I need equipment. Soldiers. An army. Oh, you always were resourceful. Recruit whatever gears you find and figure out the rest. As for your incident in Gatka, try to do better this time. A heartwarming reunion. If we do this, you work for me, not Prescott. Got it? You're the boss, motor pool. Come on. Let's find some more gears. Ooh, two against the world. I like it. Uh, shite, we did not get a promotion here for Diaz. He should have killed more. Oh, I hope that's not going to <clears throat> bite us in the rear. See, he got a lot of executions, but he did not get the necessary amount of kills. Okay, so far so good. Let's check out the barracks before we go for the next mission. So apparently there is a passive skill diagnostics. Units healing skills get plus 10%. That sounds good. Not sure how good healing is so far. It seems like the enemies are doing way more damage than we can heal. Hair trigger. When the unit uses a shot and ability, it gets a 5% chance to shoot the same target again. This effect does not occur when the weapon does not have ammunition. Okay. Well, I suppose not bad. Apparently, he seems to be kind of a su yeah, support uh, unit. Let's take a look at the skill tree. So this is... 0 out of 28 unlocked, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, okay, so overall 28 skills, I have no idea what the maximum level is or how much you can unlock, but uh, that looks interesting, I'll take a look at it off screen, it won't take a bit too much time now, but we're going to exemplarily do it for Sid here, because Sid's skills are ready as well. In the meantime, I like kind of uh, the these highlights, these little highlights of what are your new options. Plus one ammunition certainly is a great option. No helmet is not so much of a great option. 10% evasion. And we don't have any extra armor. He and Diaz already have kind of the rare armor. And we got frag grenades. Whilst Diaz here has the healing grenades. I'm not sure. Healing grenades. The cooldown is incredibly high. I mean, it's great to heal 100, but yeah, well, not one submission. Okay, let's take a look at the skill points here. I'll dive into them in a second and then give you my rundown. Okay, so after assessing the skills, maybe let's talk about how I go about skills in uh, tactic games. I'm trying to understand what the game wants from me and what the role of a character could be. Apparently this warden, um, uh, this character, what's the class name, Vanguard character, is uh, is kind of a tank-ish frontliner. And, Immediately, there are like four general categories. I like that they've also given them names, Shock Trooper, Warden, Paladin, and Assault. And each of them comes with its own kind of unique skills. 
apparently some of uh, the skills such as rally here as an example have three levels so that the deeper you are in the tree the better it gets the first thing that i'm uh, yeah assessing based on what i've seen so far is is it even worth going in one uh, into one di direction and personally i'm always a big fan of action economy the more things that you can do the more the game is in in your hands and your decisions determine whether or not the combat is successful so that's potentially the highest priority second highest priority again for me personally is to to receive survival in some shape or form because if you can outlast uh, the enemy even if it's just uh, having that occasional kind of heal uh, that uh, that happens then there is a lot of benefit uh, from it and then kind of the third topic is having a regular source of uh, reliable damage apparently both of these classes don't seem to be damage classes uh, so this here is a tank and a healer fine can start a, a group with that so i'm still waiting for the damage dealing classes so generally speaking what does the vanguard offer i went through the skills and the top right hand corner uh, functions with a skill called intimidate where enemies are essentially dragged out of cover in 10 uh, meters uh, direction that together with his bayonet charge and there are a couple of skills that make it essentially refund abilities around it and uh, give you the um, a damage reduction bonus uh, when when you're using it so essentially how this here works is he charges in and then uses demoralize to get all of the enemies out of cover and the higher versions of demoralize also mean that they take 30 percent damage i generally like that concept i'm not sure how good it will be because it depends a lot on his movement abilities and so far with a very limited amount that i've seen 10 meters don't seem like a, a lot it might hit two maybe in some cases three enemies and I'm wondering if that is the play. It, it, it might be, for, for all I know, it might be the best uh, tree. It just doesn't appeal to me immediately based on the first mission. So the second tree here is Assault. And Assault really works around uh, dealing more damage against low units. And then having those huge rage shots where you deal massive amounts of damage based on the hit, hit points that you're missing and whilst the idea of that is great you kind of have a low hit point tank and then you can deal up to a thousand points of damage extra i'm honestly not sure if i would want to play it uh, that way because um that per definition means you need to get hit and i'm trying to uh, set it up in a way where we are denying cover for the enemy so that would speak for shock trooper but certainly not where we are essentially tanking them and um, and then having this one monster shot. Also, this class doesn't strike me really as a damage dealer. And typically what those games are doing um, is the damage dealing char character class will have more damage. Yeah. So um, I'm not sure if this would be a wasted opportunity. Again, maybe I'm totally wrong and you need to go all in uh, with damage. The ones that I was more drawn to, but I'm concerned that my assessment might be wrong because i don't know the amount of damage that you're taken the first thing that i immediately saw was that warden tree and a few things that stood out since we have taken so much damage i felt okay his base ability is 10 percent regeneration right um then there is an additional ability which allows you to essentially leech off with every single shot that you're doing so that in itself already kind of sounds to me like okay you're sort of getting healing back as you are dealing damage maybe that is a cool ability together with uh the, that low hit point uh, stuff because uh 25 out of a massive shot would still be quite a bit of healing that you're getting back but what really struck me was um, essentially this distraction here minus 50 percent damage for a, a unit uh, with the exception of bosses that to me already sounded like if you have like strong individual units that are not bosses you can um, make the hits survivable and then on top of it whenever he has low hit points there is an evasion and um, an extra evasion and this is potentially the one that i like the most 75 percent damage reduction against the first hit each turn not intending to get hit a lot so 75 percent damage reduction essentially means the first time uh, there 
I, I am assuming <coughs> that he will be able to to survive. So that is good. The self revive, I'm not sure if that works for him since he is a unique character, and I think once he's down, the mission is automatically lost. So this might be a bit of a waste. But quite frankly, I was quite I was quite uh, happy about that badass uh, skill here. Now. There are a couple of other skills like regeneration enhancement to 15% from 10%. Not sure if that's really worth it. Uh, this here looked uh, nice when the unit kills an enemy with a bayonet charge. Um, each ally gets 20% damage reduction. That's also not bad. But what I liked even more is the tree down here with a paladin. It might be a complete trap, but if you don't go too deep into it, I think a couple of uh, the skills are actually very serviceable. Now... Um, Weakening shot here allows essentially as a stacking debuff. I don't know if 10% is. Um, oh, it's a passive skill. Never mind. So, essentially, the the moment that you hit them, you would leech and also debuff. So that's nice. I like passive skills. This here looked great for healing because I was uh, thinking about how can you actually heal the entire group, and if you can make a character the tank and the healer at the same time, it sounds to me like a decent kind of combination to have at least one of those characters in the group, right? So 25% leech off of all shots has a huge cooldown with um, with uh, five cool uh, five rounds, but you can even get it up to 40% and then eventually, um, what's the difference here? Alice within eight meters under the end of your next turn Oh, okay, so here it lasts two rounds even. Well, that's not bad. Two rounds and then you are three rounds off. Unfortunately, you can't really uh, reduce the cooldown further. Anyways, with the regeneration, 10% for everybody. And then on top of it, um, that um, extra leech skill. It seems like a relatively relatively decent way of um, of healing. On top of it, there is this hunger down ability. Um, it starts here and then gets better, where a single ally can be forced to take sixty or have sixty percent evasion, and that could be a uh, kind of fail safe whenever you're caught off guard. And finally, uh, this here allows everybody to uh, kind of get up and uh, and uh, fight together. So. Uh, down enemies would be uh, would be getting up Alice within 10 uh, meters 50% uh, damage reduction until the uh, beginning of the next turn and my thought process around it was the following if you're really in trouble and you do have the damage reduction and the soak here as well as the individual damage reduction that sounds to me like a lot of tanking and survivability that this character here can offer for the entire team now granted I must admit this getting out of cover thing might be a n nice feature. I don't know how well it plays out though, because the 10 meters seem to be quite uh, short. Irregardless, even if we go into Shock Trooper, I think this badass um, topic here for the uh, for for the difficulty that we're playing on is an absolute no-brainer, and we should go for it. Now, what's interesting with the skill trees is you can see you can take basically different routes. So the way that I'm reading that is you really need to think about do you want which of the skills do you want more? And essentially this and this skill is a trade-off against this and this skill because if you go down to here, you take the direct routes and don't take kind of that extra route unless all of the skills are fantastic. And here... We do have a bit of an enhanced regeneration. I don't think that I like it as much. That's so just like plus fifty percent. Okay, um, I might be wrong again. Um, and here, when this unit kills an enemy with bayonet charge, everybody gets twenty percent damage reduction. Well, that is good. I like it. At the same time, here we already have the moment that he shoots twice that is an automatic 20% damage reduction against one enemy and it doesn't require a bayonet charge to use. Um, if you skill this, you potentially want to get into free bayonet as well. So this here looks like 
you need to commit a lot of points to make that work. Uh, the unearth and the leech skill, on the other hand, seem to be relatively straightforward. And if we go the, uh, that route, uh, like this direct route, we would be having a passive skill for ex uh, for uh, for um, regaining hit points. We would get, have that hunger down skill that I wanted to use anyways because it saves a person. Then we would have um, uh, the twenty percent. Um, uh, life leech essentially the distraction um, and a better version of the distraction with 50% damage reduction so that in itself is good and then uh, extra evasion and the better skill so per definition even like this here seems like a no regret move and it seems like these are good skills irregardless if I then want to go shock trooper or if I want to go down the paladin route which is why I will pick this and I hope the thought process and kind of the trade-offs that I'm uh, mentally making also make sense to you. Of course, potentially if you've played the game, you will be like psyching. This is the biggest mistake. It's uh, absolutely stupid. But here's the thing. We're playing it for the first time. And the idea is to showcase how you would approach such a game if you play it the first time. Hunker Down as a safe ability uh, for people that are being uh, caught off guard. And I like the um, passive ability leech here. We're going to let that enhance regeneration skip as well as uh, the uh, defensive bayonet. Both of them seem nice, but it requires a different uh, type of uh, a different type of skill. And maybe, by the way, with even just a tiny. Um, uh, with just a tiny point investment into Intimidate, you can still get that interruption. Of course, it's not as great as the extra damage that you're getting out of it, uh, but you still have the 10 meters and you only use one point. So to the to the point of like having that functionality of uh, getting people out of cover, this here actually looks reasonably, uh, reasonably well. Um, the Executioner skill also looks good, but it does not appear that this here is the character to uh, to actually do a deal damage okay so this is how i will uh, skill sid and i think that's pretty much all of uh, the things that we can do uh it will now get us to uh, chapter two which is uh, a perfect timing uh, for now uh, it ends our very first uh, mission in gears tactic i hope you enjoyed your time as much as i did thank you for watching guys and please don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit the like button and leave a comment as always if the uh, co the comments will push the video on the youtube algorithm and that would help me a lot so i would appreciate your support in that regard with the oversight of this burning city, we're going to say goodbye for today and see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.